Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Ferry Zafami bin Haslim. So today I will present about the computer edit production management mini project, uh, which is also with my friend Nur Anis Adira binti Muhammad. So for the chapter one is theoretical performance. So we can see that this is the operation process chart. The figure shows, shows the operation process chart of the project. The total time taken for the operation of the project is 27.5 minutes. The total time taken for inspection in this project is 1 minute for a workpiece. For the theoretical parameters, table shows the cycle, which is the next table. The cycle time and production rate of each machine used in this project. The line production rate is 15 part per hour. Thus, the bottleneck machine is assembly to machine. The daily good product yield by Mac 1, Mac 2, and Mac 3, assembly 1, check 1, assembly 2, and pack machine are 133.336 parts, 154.840 parts, 133.336 parts, 123.429 parts, 228 parts, 110.4 parts, and 182.4 parts respectively. The not good product sealed by assembly 1, check 1, assembly 2, and pack machine are 13.714 parts, 11.4 parts, 9.6 parts, and 9.12 parts respectively. So this is the table for our cycle time and production rate of each machine. For the, for the monthly output yield, by Mac 1, Mac 2, Mac 3, assembly 1, check 1, assembly 2, and pack machines are 2666.67 parts, 3096.8 parts, uh, 2666.67 parts, 2468.592 parts, 4567 parts, 2208 parts, and 3648 parts respectively. So the next one is chapter 2 for the simulation model. Based on the simulation conducted using Galmia Quest, the bottleneck machine is pack machine with lowest production rate of 10.488 parts per hour. Therefore, the line production rate is 10.488 parts per hour. Meanwhile, the theoretical shows that the assembly 2 is the bottleneck machine with 15 parts per hour production rate. The cycle time of machine for the simulation and the theoretical section is the same. However, production rate calculated and the simulated production rate are different as shown in table 2. So this is the table for each machine. Calculated production rate which is the theoretical. Simulated production rate which is based on Delmia Quest and the percentage difference between the simulated and the calculated. Next one is the product yield. Table shows the product yield by each machine based on simulation and theoretical calculation. Based on the simulation, the Mac 1 produces the highest parts. Meanwhile, the theoretical calculation, check 1 machine produces the highest with 4560 parts. This is the table for calculated product yields and simulated product yields based, based on Delmia and based on theoretical for each machine. Lastly, is the final output of the simulated model for the project is 1587. Parts meanwhile, the theoretical product output is 2208. The performance of simulated model for this project is lower than the calculated theoretical. The simulation model of project undergoes failure for several times. Unlike the calculated, the calculation does not include downtime. That's all from me. Thank you. And uh, the next is Anis. Moving up next, the analysis and improvement to be implanted in the simulation model. 
Based on the results of the simulation model, all the sources have high idle time. The idle time is a time where the operation is halted. Therefore, the amount of raw materials entered into each machine is low. Next, low utilization and low production rate of all the machine. The machine in the simulation model has have low utilization rate and low production rate. The average utilization rate in simulation model is 64.058%. The machine in the simulation model are not fully utilized, causing the yield of output to be low. The output of the simulation model is 1,587 parts. Besides that, the machine, the failure of the machine occurs too often, often causing the disruption in production activity and lowers the amount of output yields. The most often machine undergoes failure is assembly to machine. So, the suggestion for the simulation model to be improved is to reduce the inter-arrival time of these sources, sources A, B, C, and D. So, it is, it, the lower the IAT inter-arrival time of each source lowers the idle time of source. Therefore, the raw material enter the machine is much faster than before. The IAT should reduce by half. Besides, the improvement is to add another machine. The machine should be added is assembly to machine because it has high utilization rate and quite low production rate. Moving up next, the new manufacturing plant which implemented the suggested method as previous presentation as previous. I will demonstrate how the simulation works first. The total machine used in the new simulation model are 8 machines after adding a new machine assembly too. The total buffers used in this simulation model are 11 buffers after adding another new machine assembly too. The buffer capacity remains as previous. The IET of sources A, B, C and D are set to 240 minutes in constant value which is half the which is half the among of the previous IAT values the finished parts of the production year by production line are 1933 parts the idle the idle time for all sources reduced rapidly therefore the creation rate increased abruptly the bottleneck machine is the new assembly machine. Is the new assembly assembly two machine, which is six point two one nine parts per hour. The utilization the utilization rate 
of each machine increases, which increases the final output of the production line. The highest utilization machine is machine 3. So, in this table, you can see that the utilization rate of the new model and the previous model. The new model has high, utiliza high utilization rate compared to the previous. So does its production rate. The production rate increases and the, then the previous production rate. However, the only the assembly only the assembly two machine has low utilization rate and low production rate because it has two machines added in the plant. 